Do you listen to podcasts? Have you been looking for a new podcast client? Well, today I'm going to show you a neat little podcast client that allows you to listen to your favorite podcasts inside your terminal. Let's get started. So the terminal podcast client I'm going to be discussing today is called Castero. Castero is hosted over on GitHub. Uh, according to their GitHub page, it is a TUI podcast client for the terminal. What is TUI? T-U-I. Uh, that stands for Terminal User Interface. So think of your traditional terminal user interface programs uh, like Incurses programs. How do you install Castero? Well, it's a Python application and you can install it using the pip installer. So you can pip install Castero from any Linux distribution that should get it installed for you. I'm on an Arch based Linux distribution and Castero was in the Arch repository. Actually, I think it was in the AUR, the Arch user repository. How do you use Castero? Well, there's not a lot of functionality really to Castero, but it's got everything you need. This basically, these 15 commands or so, that is everything you can do with Castero. Uh, let me show you Castero in the terminal. All right, so I'm gonna pull up a terminal to launch Castero after you get it installed. You simply need to type Castero. Hit enter, and this is the default Castero interface. It is a three column layout. I've already added a few podcasts that I listen to, mostly Linux related, tech related podcasts. Let me show you how you add a podcast. So I'm going to add another podcast, maybe something I'm not already subscribed to here in Castero. So uh, I do listen to Joe Rogan, uh, his podcast, but I typically watch him on YouTube. But if I wanted to add the podcast version here in Castero, all I need to do is find the RSS feed for the Joe Rogan podcast and then get that URL. I'm going to copy that URL. And then I'm going to go back to Castero and hit A. A for add feed. When you hit A, it asks you for the URL or the path of the feed. And then I'm just going to paste the location of the Joe Rogan RSS feed. Hit enter and you see Joe Rogan podcast site is now a part of my feeds. And if I wanted to, I could hit R on the keyboard for refresh and it should well, I've got to hit Y to confirm it. And it should refresh all my podcast feeds in case there's some newer podcasts out there that I didn't already have populated in my episodes list. If I wanted to, I could navigate down to the Joe Rogan podcast. Then I could arrow over to get into the episodes column. And if I wanted to, you know what, maybe I didn't already hear the episode he recently did interviewing Edward Snowden. You know, I could just hit enter on the keyboard and it would start playing. And I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is playing. I'm gonna pause that. P for pause. I have to be careful, you know, playing somebody else's audio here on YouTube. It could get me flagged. So I, I, I probably won't share <laughs> any audio clips from these podcasts in my video. And then if you want to go forward in the podcast, back in the podcast, it kind of uses the Vim keys, but it uses them in a weird way. L does move you forward, but J moves you back instead of H, which is kind of what you think. But H is already used for the help key in most terminal applications, and that's the case here. If I hit H, I will get the help screen. If I hit H again, it'll get me back to where I was. Uh, you could also go forward and back with the more traditional kind of bash or emacs kind of key bindings. So for forward, you could go F and back, you could go B. If you wanted to save a episode of a podcast to your host machine for, you know, viewing offline or listening to it offline later, for example, if I wanted to download this Edward Snowden uh, episode from Joe Rogan, I could hit S for save and it says starting episode download. Not sure how long the download is going to take. I wonder if I can actually quit out of that. I don't really want to download that. And let me relaunch Castero. And uh, I mentioned the three column layout is the default layout. You can change the layout. There are three layouts built into Castero by default. You hit one on the keyboard, the default layout, the one we're currently looking at, that's that layout. But there is uh, also a layout on the two key on the keyboard. Just hit two. And it shows you your current queue of episodes and their metadata. 
and then layout three on the keyboard is a two column layout which just shows your feeds and your episodes but it doesn't give you any of the metadata I kinda like uh, the two column layout better than the traditional three column layout it looks a little busy for me and usually I don't need the metadata the description of the podcast because usually the title will give you an, an idea of what that podcast is about anyway this is a very quick look at Castero again there's not much to it this is not a complicated program I know uh, some people you know probably avoid terminal and terminal applications as much as possible it kind of scares them but something like Castero this is a dead simple podcast client that you can listen to in the terminal again it's, there's only about 15 or so commands you have to know as far as key bindings H for help Q to quit R to reload S to save you know, F for forward, B for back, and then the uh, one through three numbers to change the layout if you want to do that. Although most people will probably just select one layout and leave it there. And that's it. So I hope you guys found this useful. I've been using Castero now for a few weeks. I found Castero a little while back. And again, I listened to some Linux related podcasts in Castero, have been for a while because. Really, it was kind of my only option right now because I typically don't use like big multimedia players, big audio players like Rhythmbox and things like that. I usually don't install them on my system. They're great programs, but I usually don't have that stuff on my more minimal systems. And Castero is a very quick download. It's a small program. It's a very small footprint on your system. But quite frankly, it does everything I need from a podcast client. So I wanted to share it with you guys before I go. This show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, Daniel, David, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Corbinian, Lambda, Mitchell, Natek, Philip, Rob, Robert, Sean, Stephanie, and Willie. These guys are the producers of the show. They are my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode about Castero would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by all those other ladies and gentlemen, all those names you see on the screen that help support my work over on Patreon. Again, sincere thank you to each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support my work, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.